I chase moments. Moments when the noise is stripped away. When I'm broken down to my core. This is when I feel alive. Great Ocean Trail Ultra. 100 kilometres along the Great Ocean Walk with over 3,000 metre of elevation gain and loss. The trail it begins in Apollo Bay, travels along the shipwreck coast to the Twelve Apostles. The race starts at 5am over an hour before sunrise. And the reason this race starts at that time is to take advantage of low tide where the majority of the runners will be crossing some of the beaches. We have the same idea. First checkpoint is about 22k in at Blanket Bay. Now my fast but kind of realistic time frame was 13 hours for this day. And based on my race predictions, to get to this first checkpoint, I predicted two hours and 51 minutes. That's exactly the time I got to this checkpoint on. Bit of a steep climb out which became a trend for the day. And then some beautiful flowing single track with the majority of downhill. Checkpoint two is at Air River. I love hitting this spot. It's about 41 or so kilometers in. After a bit of a downhill section, we come here on soft sand and then head across a wooden bridge. There's something about how beautiful this bridge looks over the river, leading out to the ocean. I just love being in this race.
Oh, I know, it's good timing. How are you going? Yeah, all right. That section was slower than I planned for it, but that's all right. I'm still on track otherwise. almost at the 55k checkpoint we could call that halfway even though there's 45 after apparently and i do know this from experience the second half is harder going and this is joanna beach a whole lot of soft sand river crossing and then we're at the main checkpoint Checkpoint number three is Joanna Beach at 55 kilometers. So I took my time here. Got some food in, drank plenty of water, got my bottles filled, made sure I stocked up. You can get through it if this is good. Have you on the course? Yeah. Yep. Going up and around there. Right, so about 56 and a half K into this 100 K race. Um, it's gotten hot. Kind of feeling pretty good. Definitely feeling a lot better than I did eight years ago at this point. But I'm traveling a lot slower. It's probably one of the reasons I'm feeling all right. Uh, legs don't really want to go super fast or even any sort of fast. Uh, I came into that checkpoint an hour behind my absolute hoped for schedule and my realistic schedule still about half an hour behind that so today will probably be slower but it's an adventure I don't quite remember it being that long from eight years ago, but that was five kilometres from climbing. Not stopping here. And I notice a bit after 70k or so, I was really just feeling flat. I could still move, but I was feeling a bit, little bit lightheaded, a little bit dizzy. Nothing major, nothing beyond what I felt like in some other hard races. But I wanted to play it safe. I wanted to make sure I finished here. And I wanted to make sure I had something left in the tank for the last section. So I took a breather, I sat down on the trail just for a bit, let myself recuperate, drank a bit of water, and then I continued on. And this is where things went wrong. 
after I took the moment of sitting down, I got back up and I kept moving. Jogged really slow on the downhill. Hiked the uphill and took it easy. Now I still felt a bit dizzy, that little bit of lightheadedness, but it was reduced. And then I was hiking uphill. And next thing I know, I'm on the ground. <laughs>